I recently purchased this uh, vintage Workmate 625 and one of the reasons I did is I really like the design of this particular bench. I like the uh, H-frames that they have here made out of cast aluminum. That's pretty cool. They don't do that anymore. So I wanted to review this and compare and contrast this bench to one of the newer 425. So I'm going to lay this on its side and we're, I'm, we're going to go from the bottom up on this. So the first thing I want to look at was the feet. One of the things I really like about the uh, 625 is the, uh, the feet are adjustable both on the bottom level and then when you come up here to that intermediate level they're adjustable. And on this, six, or the, this 425 Type 3 they're not adjustable at all and this is great if you happen to be working on a uh, surface that's not level and you need to keep your work sur uh, your, your level, your bench level Boy, that would that would come in handy. Another thing that's different about this bench is you see that catch there? That's what keeps this leg in place when you fold it up. It's made out of metal. And if you look over here, and of course you've seen some of my other videos, it's made out of plastic. I've got some lubrication on this one so it slides a little bit easier. And you can see the same thing down there too. They're made out of plastic as opposed to metal. I really like that idea. I'm not sure why they discontinued it, but uh, maybe they saved a penny or two or they just wanted to sell parts. The other thing I like about this bench is uh, you'll notice on the H-frames, rather than being pop riveted in, they are using some kind of screw or bolt to hold them into place. And you can see that right there. Now the cross member here looks to be pop riveted. Well, that's a, that's a screw also. And uh, that one up there I'm not sure of, but down here it's a screw. But if you look at this uh, 425 Type 3, everything there is a pop rivet. Okay. On, on the uh, 625 also, you'll notice here, there are two catches. One there and one there to hold the bench in place when you've collapsed it. Another unusual feature about this bench is this worm gear. You'll notice the traveler, the piece that moves, is all the way to the back. So that's in the back. And when you turn the crank, it pulls it towards the front. So the front is stationary on this bench. That's a very interesting design. I also like the fact that this is held on, the bench top is held on by metal pieces like you see there with a couple of screws, a couple of hex head screws. And you see that on both sides. If you look at the, that's a Workmate 400, then a 550, then a 425 Type 6. They're all plastic except for this one, that part's metal. It's one of the reasons when I customize the top on my, my Workmate 425, I use bolts to hold them into place for the sliders. But I do like the fact that these are made out of some kind of metal. And I also like the fact that this has a much thicker grip or vice type uh, area. So you've got the thinner piece here and then you come over, they've added a piece below to allow you to have a greater clamping area. So this is about, this is from the 400, it's about half the thickness. Same thing here on the 550 type 3, 425 type 3 and then there's a 425 type 6 even thinner. That's why when I made my own custom top that I went with uh, 2 by 6 because it's about almost exactly the same thickness as, uh, as this is right here. And I really like that because I, I believe it keeps it more stable. Again, there's only two panels here, whereas when you go to a, one of the newer benches, you can actually put three panels in place. I've obviously replaced the panels with my custom top here. Then another aspect of this too is if you look at the bench dogs, Starting from the left is a, the uh, 625 and then you see one from a 400 and then there's the newest type that comes with the 425 type 6 and then just here's another view of the same bench dog so I'm seeing some improvements in the bench dogs over a period of time and some improvements but also some things some features they left out that I really wish they would kept in the newer benches so it's a very interesting bench. So if you like this video, please press like. And if you haven't subscribed already, 
please do so because I have some other videos coming about these benches. And I hope this helps you out and uh, good luck on your projects.